Hey, what's up everybody? Maximilian Schneider here. Long time judoka, 25 years experience. High school wrestler, D1 wrestler, working my jujitsu black belt. Judo. I was on the 2016 Olympic team as a training partner. 2012, I was a youth Olympic champion in Judo. Two-time Illinois state champion in wrestling. And now I'm just, uh, you know, learning from one of the best, Justin Flores. So, today we're going to be focusing on the position of overhook. So this is commonly seen as a less uh, important position than the underhook, you know, less value for sure, but it's one of my favorite places to go. So we're just going to talk a little bit about how to get there, what we do when we're there, and like some of the key things I'm looking for. Okay, so if I have my partner right over here, right, they get in like a little bit of a stance. So me personally, I always want my overhook on this right side. So I will post with my rear hand and reach with the side I want the overhook. And when I reach, I make a blade and I start trying to turn and sink my thumb behind their armpit like this, right? So in this, I would love to angle off and turn them and start exposing their back. If I turn here and they do not do anything, then I can come to like a short drag. But most people, when you do this to them, they will sink that underhook, right? So I'm really looking for them to sink that underhook. Yes, so I want this position, right? So from here, just talking a little bit before they establish this underhook, right? So when I'm here, I really think about exposing this bone, kind of like a rear naked choke, on the bicep and tricep, right? And I think about really squeezing it in. And from here, this really weakens their underhook. So if they don't have an underhook and they try and establish an underhook with this position, they can't even really get to the shoulder. So I let them get as far as I want, and then I will cinch it in, and it kind of kills their underhook. So from here, we've established a dominant position where we're actually winning the position. He has an underhook, but it's not very valuable because he can't use it for a lot of force. So I really like to hang out in this position. Um, one of the reasons I also really like hanging out in this position because it's built in single leg defense, where if they try to single leg this near leg, you can just hold up their other arm and it turns into like a high crotch, which is much easier to stop than a true single leg where they just drop here, right? So I like establishing this nice solid position. So the first move I'm gonna teach is one of my favorites. I use it in many different positions, but I really value it in this position right here. So it's gonna be a Koji pick. So a Koji pick, I lower my level, right? I get a nice like quasi wrestling stance but still head up because I don't want to give up front headlocks. So this is actually the perfect angle. You see how this leg closest to me is back and the far one is there? If it's switched, right, it's unavailable. But as long as you have this angle right here, where we're both kind of squaring off against each other, it's readily available. So the first thing I wanna say is we have to keep top pressure. So with this top pressure on the shoulder, I'm not going to go under my partner as I step in. You have to keep this dominance on top. So as I'm coming in, I'm going to step parallel with his foot and keep this top pressure. I lower my level and I reach for this right here, right? And you can see like they're already kind of falling as you step. So top pressure, stepping parallel and reaching. Right? So, a couple other key components to this is when we come in and we do this takedown, we do not want to fall with our partner. If we fall with our partner, right, we're kind of ending up in this like giving up your back situation. And we want to avoid that at all costs, right? So, when we step in, right, we step, we trade, we retract, and now I like taking this leg and having the option of either feeding it across here, right, or just dragging it through. 
but not following through with that, but actually just staying elevated and choosing your entry after is how I really gain a dominant position from this coach you pick. Okay, one more time, a little more live speed. Coach you pick. 